What up in the shots, your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. And today we are riding the Preview Bikes version three. This is probably our last one, maybe not, depending on how much the community gripes and complains on where these bikes are at. I, personal opinion, I think the bikes are absolutely amazing and I'm gonna touch all down and base like why I think that is. And reason why is preview one, they really understood their flaw, right? They didn't test anywhere other than Washougal on these bikes. And from the information what I've gathered, they only tested on Washougal. That's why we had that underpower difference where we couldn't hit Low Rocco Sleep, we couldn't have any power here and there, right? Why do you test on one track and not multiple tracks? I genuinely, that's me just not necessarily calling shots, but I'm very confused about. Now, prove me wrong in the comments if there was other testing, but why would you release with that much li um, lower power? If I was a tester, I would have said, yo, I can't even make a jump. How is this gonna be even viable for any rider, right? Now, beyond that point, Preview 2 came out, they upped the power, they upped the, uh, you know, durability of using higher gears to get more efficiency and the, uh, you know, achievability of speed on the 250 and 450. Great, happy with that, and they fixed traction, right? Now, Preview 1 had really bad, or I guess the traction was almost like you had no bite to the tire, to where it was like we are slipping for at least three to three, three to three and a half to four seconds before the track tire fully got some really good traction, right? Maybe I'm over exaggerating three half to four seconds, Seconds, but preview two, they actually were able to up the tire bite, which allowed us to get more traction and then allow us to put more power to the ground quickly. I think that was a W. Um, I just didn't understand where why preview three came out. I was kind of like, yo, this is pretty good, but obviously, there's more behind the scenes. So now they wanted to test and go back to a little bit of preview one and then a mixture with a preview two and put in the preview three. And then this is where it's kind of like, all right, bet, where do we stand? Now, I've heard a lot of gripes and complaints to where they don't like how the mess is going to be a front, I guess a front <laughs> leaning forward. Now if we take it back to beta 19, the regular original update, not the bikes, take it back to beta 19, the update, where everybody said that the game's so unrealistic because when you go into ruts, all you do is lean back, right? Why are we complaining that we have to lean forward on our front tire when when you ride IRL, you're supposed to put added weight onto your front tire so you don't front tuck and you get stability in ruts and or making corners. This allows you to actually keep gripping or ripping that throttle and then continuously keeping good posture and body control on the bike. Now, I don't know if that's me or not, but that sounds like really realistic. That sounds very something actually not made up and we're not using, you know, lean back simulator, right? We want this game to be as much as a simulator as possible without like taking away the fun, right? I completely get that. Now, when we get to this situation, a lot of people are like, oh, so that's gonna be the meta. Like, dude, that's the meta IRL. Like, what are you talking about? Like, and a lot, of, I get it. Like a lot of people have not ridden IRL and I can't be the one to say that I have so much experience IRL. And I'll go ahead and admit that. And that way nobody's like, oh, like you don't really ride like that. Like, yes, I've been in the track maybe four or five times, but I know for damn sure that if I don't want to fall on my ass, I'm not going to be sitting here leaning back and letting the bike just take away from me, right? It's called something called the attack position, you know, keeping that, that head forward over the bars and keep an eye on it, right? You're supposed to match the speed with the body weight of the bike. So leaning forward is kind of like where it's at. And with them up, updating the achievable speed on these bikes, these things are gonna move and they are gonna have a lot of uh, torque, right? So I think all in all, the preview bikes and the OEM team have actually cracked the code. I think these bikes are in a perfect spot. And we gotta realize, I think someone had said something to where it's like we need to cater towards more of the new riders, I should say. I think that's wrong. We get, we buy this game, a lot of people buy this game because we want the simulation aspect or the grinding aspect of this game. If we sit here and cater to new players, what is there left for when you actually reach that that wall and actually was like, all right, well, good, I'm bored now. I've literally maximized all my back, you know, capacity of the game. And you gotta think about that. If we sit here and cater to the new player, where are they gonna have that fun at 500, 600, 2000, et cetera hours, right? You should be that skill gap or that wall to where we can always not be able to reach it, to where it's like there's always something that we can work on and conquer. And I think realistically, we shouldn't be thinking about new players, we shouldn't be thinking about old players. I think we should be working on the, um, like the game in general of keeping the durability, you know, the I guess the survivability, there you go, the survivability of the game in the long run, you know what I mean? We don't want the game to die out so quick or people to start playing the games like, oh, well, now I can play 100 hours of the game and be really good at it. And that's not what we want, right? We want that traction, we want the skill gap. Now, on top of that, circling back around to when I said that these bikes had a limited traction, you're able to lean completely as far as you want and grab as much momentum through berms like this, 
that's not the case anymore. You lean too far over, you will front tuck, you will fall over. You're not gonna get the speed, right? There's a situation in the tires to where you get the most of it at the top of the tire, not on the side of the tire. I mean, obviously you're still gonna get traction. But with that being said, that this stops us from literally being able to rail with 50 miles per hour to get into something to where we should be able to quad, right? So I think this is a really big W. Now, I'm not saying it's not impossible because you can see right here that if you actually rail and actually keep your throttle control at a consistent rate and, you know, your your corner speed, I think you're good, right? It's the skill gap. And a lot of people hate that because it's changed of how the dynamic of the game is going to be played. And I genuinely think that's a perfect spot and a good way to actually bring back players that haven't been here for a while. Right? If we keep it same old, same old, if we go back to our regular ways, we're gonna literally lose more player base than we think, right? We only get so many updates a year. Not saying any disrespectfulness to Baboso, OEMs, right? But the game's hard to co completely manage with how much devs we have on the video game. And we have to wait for certain people to update stuff so we can get this, right? Baboso came out with the updates, changed the weight from the back of the tire or back of the back of the bike to the front, right? That allows us to put our actual initial attack position weight and all that weight on the front tire so we don't get the front tuck. I can tell you so many times that I have not received any front tucks on these bikes unless I actually start doing really something stupid or pushing it to, with outside of my limits, right? And that's a good thing. That's what we want, you know? We want to be able to see that change into where it's like, all right, we're kind of looking more realistic than we are <laughs> already, you know what I mean? You don't know how many comments that go into the channel to where it's like, oh man, all you do is stream the bike. Oh man, like, why are you leaning back in a rut? You know what I mean? Like, that's just unrealistic, but a lot of people tell you that, you know? So, I think I think that's a good spot. And I also want to talk about why I'm training only on Supercross as well. Uh, Supercross is just the meta coming up, right? We're done with Motocross, it's SMX and Supercross. I think I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I really want to and understand that like the reason why Ariel and Stone Rider went the way with their ruts is because of how much traction these bikes had. Yes, we had to make pre-made ruts so we can actually have different race lines so we can actually be able to, you know, take that alternate spots. Now that we're able to cut down, uh, able to lose a little bit of traction and grab that traction back, we're actually able to split our sides to where it's like, if you're gonna go wide, I'm able to cut down on you and still have a fighting chance without having to literally just, you know, try to rail you into the corner and all, like there's no speed there, right? Now this also might open up a door to where we can figure out the E-road on these tracks, right? The reason when we see these, these you know, high ruts and stuff on top of the ma um, height map is because the E-road system in this game is not up to par to where if we put the ruts in the ground, if we start running the ruts and all that, then it's just gonna dig a deeper hole, almost like a trench. I mean, it's gonna be very bad riding, probably get death ruts. If you haven't seen death ruts, I promise you, it'll come to you in certain, in in certain games especially when the e-road's high then you reset the track anyway of like spikes of strips and all that stuff with that also being said i think it's perfect i run the 90 in supercross um i generally think it gives me a lot of plant um planted situations and a lot of good turning um and a lot of grip now i've always said this it's it's with the beta 18 and beta 19 the 90 tire for supercross will always be it now i heard that they were trying to take away the 20 120 in the back tire I think 100% agree with this. Uh, 250s don't really need that much. You know what I mean? It's all about momentum and about you trying to get as much, you know, high RPMs as you can. So that that bike, that back wheel is going to slip no matter what. But a 110 and a 100 should do you completely right, especially being on on a 250. You don't really need that. Now, I completely agree with the 450s. Um, I've also tested these bikes on enduro, and enduro feels absolutely amazing. Um, really, a, a phenomenal. So I, I hope you guys didn't think I was going to come into this video basically trying to bash the OEMs. I'm actually on their side with preview number three. I think we have enough traction control. Maybe if they wanted to loose the, loosen the tires, I, I don't know why I always go back to this 5%, 10% thing, but if you wanted to loose the tires 5% or something like that, you can't, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to stop you and I'm going to be able to grind these tires and these bikes out no matter what, right? Um, I think the engine braking is in a good spot. I don't even know if they changed it or not from the last time I said that they needed to maybe reduce it by five, but now I actually started to ride the bikes more and actually the engine braking does help me a lot so i think engine braking is in a good spot it kind of messes me up at times so where it's like man when i do actually downshift um it actually plays a big key of me not able to hit the next next line if i'm not on the cast so yeah i'm also with that being said i know it's pretty late into the video but let me know your guys thoughts to where like whatever i'm saying is valid um if my opinion's right i mean honestly at the end of the day it's just an opinion and really where i think the bikes are at um, I genuinely think they're trying to bring out that more realistic physics with you leaning towards the front of the bike. Um, 
I think here's a really good spot to where you know here's a method to the madness and I think the OEM team has it right um, I generally think these bikes aren't gonna be found out to be really easy um, over time and we're not gonna be able to like master the craft right um, I do think there's a lot of situations here to where we're gonna have fun but at the end of the day OEM knows the best of the best they know the physics they know what they need to do they've changed it they've heard our, our, our gripes and complaints our love and, and our love interest and at the end of the day they just want to see the game thrive they're not here to actually bash the game and or make it worse right like i said this this update's got to count so giving our feedback whether it be negative or positive um is 100 percent and i'm glad that people show negatives but i think some of the negatives is just not there to really kind of kind of i guess kind of argument like so i don't know that that's my two cents thank you guys for watching the video if you guys found this useful be sure to hit the like button subscribe button and let me know how you guys experience on preview 3 is and if we are in a good spot like i said we shouldn't as a 250 be able to try to hit big boy 450 lines consistently it's got to be a it's got to be the skill gap of us actually trying and or understanding throttle control corner corner speed and knowing when to sit and stand and stuff right so expect down this road when these bikes come out a huge skill gap i hope the skill gap rises and that falls right i'm sorry new players but at the end of the day the reason why you're getting this game because you enjoy the grind you shouldn't be able to play 200 300 hours and be like yep i'm him you know what i mean respectfully because i at the end of the day that's that's where we get you to keep coming back to where you know trying to qualify for pro events should be hard it should be a absolutely nightmare but thank you guys for watching um thank you so much hit that like button subscribe button catch you guys later. Bye -bye 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 -bye.